Hi everyone, this is Philip Martin from the Finney Society. In this video we're going to review the Yanling Dao from L.K. Chen. Uh, this Dao is based on a 17th century original in Peter Decker's collection. Dao from this period, from the, the late Ming and early Qing dynasty, had rectangular grips and rectangular fittings both on the hilt as well as on the scabbard. The scabbard that comes with this Yanling Dao uh, has cast iron fittings and it's covered in vegan leather which I take to be basically vinyl. Um, the fittings on this scabbard have remained tight. I've had this sword for almost a month. I think the layer of uh, somewhat compressible material probably helps with uh, creating a very tight fit that doesn't come loose with changes in humidity and climate. Um, the vegan leather is stitched, as you can see here, along the bottom. The Yanling Dao has a 27 and 1 quarter inch blade. Um, the grip from the bottom of one fitting to the top of the other is five and a half inches. The weight is a little over two pounds. Point of balance is about four and a quarter inches from the guard. And it has a lot of distal taper. If you can see it goes from about eight and a half millimeters at the base to just over two millimeters near the tip. So that's a lot of distal taper, which really results in a a sword that handles very nicely. Uh, it's a very attractive design uh, with the folded steel. I don't know if you're able to see that. And two fullers and an eight inch false edge. I did some cutting earlier this week with the sword. So let's take a look at that footage and see how well this Yongling Dao cuts the Tommy. As you can see from that footage, this Dow cuts tatami very efficiently. Uh, it handles very well. Um, overall, I like this Dow very much. Uh, there are a couple issues, though, that we should discuss. One, uh, the main issue, is that uh, this is not a one-to-one -one reproduction of the sword from Peter Decker's collection. Um, LK, I believe, had a prototype made to those exact specifications and he found that these rectangular grips, uh, the, the fittings on the rectangular grips were very very uncomfortable. So with a much shorter grip, uh, about an inch shorter, uh, your hand would come in contact with the corners of this rectangular grip 
and the fact that there's a ridge at the base of, of, of the, the fitting under the guard means that there's actually a, uh, a little protruding knob there that if you grab the sword with your thumb on that, that corner, it just digs into your thumb. I can feel it digging into the bone of, of my thumb. It's really, really very uncomfortable. So his solution was to lengthen the grip by approximately one inch. Um, and so the result is that it's not exactly the same sword as based on that sword. I find that it handles very well when gripped uh, between the fittings, very comfortable. Uh, still very maneuverable since the point of balance is only a four and a quarter. Then holding it further down puts the point of balance about maybe five and a quarter inches away from your, your hand, which is fairly powerful, but still maneuverable. Um, so overall, I, I like this design. Um, I appreciate that uh, LK Chen sent it to me for testing and review. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. And thank you very much for watching.